Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Minni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Series exam Mechanical Engineering questions. This is lecture number 48. The topic is hydraulic pumps. We take few questions from the hydraulic pumps and uh, we discuss the answers. The first question from 2021 question paper, a centrifugal pump has an impeller of 30 cm outer diameter. The van tips are radial at the outlet. For a rotative speed of 1450 rpm, what is the manometric head developed? Assume manometric efficiency is 82% and take g equal to 9.81 meter per second square. There are four options given here. So the correct option is 43.38 meter. So we will see how in the next slide. So the peripheral speed u2 equal to pi d2 n divided by 60. Substitute numerical values pi into 0.3 into 1450 divided by 60 equal to 22.77 meters per second. The manometric efficiency eta manometric equal to g hm divided by bw2 u2. For radial discharge bw2 equal to u2. So this becomes g hm by u2 square. Substituting numerical values, manometric efficiency 0 0.82, which is equal to 9.81 into hm, manometric head divided by 22.77 square. So, solving the equation, hm manometric head equal to 43.36 meter. That is the answer to the question. The manometric head equal to 43.36 meters. Next question from 2020 question paper Which of the following statement regarding hydraulic pumps are correct? The gear pump consists of two close meshing gears, gear wheels, which rotate in opposite direction. In van pump, as the rotor rotates, the van follow the contour of the casing. Third point, third statement, leakage is more in the van pump compared to the gear pump. So, which of the three statements are correct? So, the statement 1 and 2, they are correct. Leakage is more in the case of van pump compared to gear pump is wrong. The other two statements, the statement regarding gear pump and the van pump, they are correct. Next question from 2015 question paper, a jet pump or jet pumps are often used in process industry for their large capacity, high efficiency, capacity to transport gas, liquid and the mixture of both, none of the above. Option C is the correct answer. Jet pump, they can handle gas, liquid or mixture of gas and the liquid. That is the advantage of jet pump. Next question from 2021 question paper. In a single acting reciprocating pump without air vessel, the ratio of average friction head to the maximum frictional head in the delivery pipe is, we have four options here, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. The correct answer is 2 by 3. So, the in the in the case of reciprocating pump without air vessel, the average friction head is 2 by 3 times of maximum friction head in the delivery pipe. The next question from 2021 question paper, a single acting reciprocating pump running at 50 rpm delivers 0 0.00736 meter cube per second of water. The diameter of the piston is 200 millimeter and the stroke length is 300 millimeter. What is the percentage of slip of the pump? We have four options here. So, we calculate the slip. The theoretical discharge is pi by 4 d square L into n by 60. So, pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square into 0 0.3 into 50 by 60 equal to 0 0.00785 meter cube per second. The percentage of slip equal to theoretical discharge minus actual discharge divided by theoretical discharge. Theoretical discharge equal to 0 0.00785 minus 0 0.00736 divided by 0 0.00785 equal to 6.29 percentage. So, the correct answer is option B. 6.29 percentage. Next question from 2014 question paper, negative slip occurs in the reciprocating pump when the delivery pipe is, we have four options, long and the suction pipe is short, delivery pipe is long and the suction pipe is short and the pump is running at low speed. Delivery pipe is long and the suction pipe is short and the pump is running at high speed. Delivery pipe is short and suction pipe is long and the pump is running at low speed. Delivery pipe is short and the suction pipe is long and the pump is running at a high speed. So, the correct answer is negative slip occur because of inertia, inertia, inertia pressure in the suction pipe will be large as compared to the pressure in the delivery pipe. So, the correct option is 
delivery pipe is short and the suction pipe is long and the pump is running at a high speed. So, this is the reason for negative slip occurs in the negative uh, reciprocating pump. The next question from 2022 question paper, a single acting reciprocating pump has a bore of 200 millimeter and the stoke is 350 millimeter and runs at 45 rpm. The suction head is 8 meter and the delivery head is 20 meter. What is the theoretical discharge of the water if the slip is 12 percentage? Take acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter by second square. So, we have 4 options here. So, the correct answer is 7.260 liters per second. So, we will see how in the next slide. The theoretical discharge Q theoretically equal to pi by 4 d square L into n by 60 substituting pi by 4 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 square root 0 0.35 into 45 by 60 equal to 8.25 10 power minus 3 meter cube per second, which is 8.25 liters per second. The actual discharge equal to 0 0.88 into theoretical discharge. So, the slip is 0 0.88 into theoretical discharge equal to 7.26 liters per second. Next question from 2022 question paper. In a double acting pump, the work saved by fitting an air vessel is about, we have four options, 19.2 percentage, 29.2 percentage, 39.2 percentage, 50.2 percentage. The answer is 39.2 percentage. So, we will see how in the next slide. Work done are the power expended against friction without air vessel in a double acting pump, P1 equal to W A L N by 60 into 4 F L by 3 G D into 2A by A into omega R whole square. The work done or power extended expanded against friction with the air vessel in the double acting pump. P2 equal to W A L N by 60 into 4 F L by 2 G D into 2A into omega R divided by A into pi whole square. Percentage of work saved by, by friction by fitting air vessel in the double acting pump. So, P1 minus P2 divided by P1 equal to 1 minus P2 by P1 which is 1 minus substituting for P2 and P1 and simplifying this will be 1 minus 3 by 2, 2 by pi whole square which is equal to 1 minus 6 by pi square. So, substituting for pi it is 0 0.392 which is 39.2 percentage. So, the correct answer is 39.2 percentage. When you fix the air vessel in the double acting pump, the work done or the saving in the power is 39.2 percentage. The next question from 2015 question paper, in a hydraulic coupling, the magnitude of input and output torques are equal, the magnitude of input torque is greater than output torque, the magnitude of input torque is less than the output torque, the magnitude of input torque is negligible as compared to the output torque. So, the correct option is the magnitude of input and the output torques are equal. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you can refer to the book Fluid Mechanics and Machinery for the theoretical knowledge of hydraulic pumps and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the videos for a better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution to the UPSC engineering exam question paper. Until then, bye.